Why, hello guys! We are going to be doing a part vlog, part shopping, part let's look at cool vintage bags. We're gonna be doing it all today. I just showed up at Rockland. I have a meeting with Retaish this morning, and as I have my weekly or bi-weekly meetings with them, I always like to stop by the handbag departments and stock their life and see exactly what they have and what I am obsessing over. So I thought I would take you guys with me. I put on a cute, ooh, sorry, lots of boobies this morning from this angle. I'm wearing a cute For Love and Lemons outfit. I will show it to you guys after. It's actually really cute. I'm wearing combat boots. It's a little too hot for combat boots, but it worked. Cute little Fendi baguette. Let's go shopping, guys. Oof, that dress, though. That one right there. I'm totally going to try that on. Oh, they have a Prada bucket hat. Let's see if there's anything fun. Oh, look at that Chanel visor. Hi, how are you? You look so cute. Love your outfit. Thank you. That's a good one right here. Oh, that is a great one. Okay, hold on. Let me show you guys my outfit first. So here's my outfit of the day for Love and Lemons. Like little jumper with the matching blazer on top. I'll insert my outfit of the day picture right here so you guys can take a look at it in action. Little combat boots. Look of the day with the Fendi baguette too. This is the Prada. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, let's go find some fun bags. Okay, they also have this amazing Bottega that I can't believe is still here. I've seen this one a few times. I don't think I've ever shown it. So it is Bottega with this chain woven. Condition is pretty amazing. It's like the soft, super smushy Bottega. And you know how I feel about bigger bags, especially for this fall. I think it's all about the big bag this fall. We need to do a tutorial on how to tie. Did, did you do it, Alex? Okay, Alex needs to show us how to tutorial this because this is what it's a large it's a large square. So the this is separate. Okay, so you so can what, buy these like on Etsy. It's like okay, rings. Okay, and then you just tie a knot on the ring, and you have to tie it in the back as well. Okay, wait. I literally. Oh my god, this looks incredible. Okay, so you tie it with the point yeah. at the front. Yeah. I'm sort of like what usually people would do. Yeah, like that's how I usually do the scarf top. But it was epic the way you did it. Okay, so you pass the bottom point and then and the then, top yes. one. Put the ring. I have a few rings like that too at home. Oh my god, I love 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 okay guys you just got a tutorial and you could kind of just play with it right like you can like, even tuck this actually no i like no it. i like, like it this is yeah. how it's supposed to be but yeah i like this a also lot. you could just play the ring part is the fun part okay guys so i have i'm doing some awesome picks here i cannot wait to show you guys at home what i picked out for you guys all right so i just got home look at all the beauties i have to show you guys Let's sit down and do this. I just got home and I made the bra top that Alex was showing us how to make today. It looks so cute. I'll insert a picture of what it actually looks like on me. Hold on, let me fix the camera. I look like I'm topless. All right, so we're gonna do this totally informal, totally Melissa style. I got all the bags that I picked up that I wanted to show you guys. I've been asked quite a bit, what do you consider vintage versus pre-love? So there's kind of this debate when it comes to vintage. It's either 20 years old or 30 years old. I'm from the school of 20 years old, especially with handbags, just because I feel like there's a 20 year fashion cycle, so I think that a good vintage really does stem from 20 years ago, just because it's more relevant basically than a 30 year old bag would be. Actually, a 30 year old bag would be in the 90s, and it would still be really relevant, but I like to go with the school of 20 plus years is vintage, and anything before that is just pre-loved. So I have some vintage, I have some pre-loved to show you guys. I went through all the bags and I found some gorgeous, goodies to show you guys that these are all bags that I basically I what I do when I go to retice to show you guys stuff is I basically pretend I have illimited amount of budget to spend on bags and accessories and I just go ham and I take all the bags that I love and I bring them home to show them to you guys oh my god we're starting with a bang okay so the first bag 
that I'm here to show you guys is this Hermes Constance bag. I've been on a hunt for a Constance in forever, like forever. This bag is also in Canadian dollars. When you click retouch down below, I'll we'll put all the links. Everything is in Canadian dollars. So for those of you who are American, keep in mind there's like a 30 to 35% savings for you guys because of exchange rate minus my 15% off code it's like you're getting 50% off does that make sense doing the math i think it does so this bag i think that's like eight hold on let's see how much eight thousand comes up to in american dollars because i feel like i feel like people don't realize how much money they save shopping from canadian sites okay so eight thousand that's sixty four hundred dollars and then sixty four hundred minus my 15% off promo code. This bag is $5,400, guys. Tell me you can find a Constance for $5,400. So it is the small size. I saw this right away and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. It's in box leather, which is beyond. Look at this, look at this bag. I saw this bag right away. I think they just got it like yesterday or something and I was like, oh my God. I love that it's like the thinner version of the Constance. If I had Constance money right now, I would just be buying this bag. Like beyond, I would just be buying this bag. It is stunning. Okay, so this was the first one I pulled that I was like, ooh, we limited budget. You'd be coming home with me. Guys, did I ever mention that these are my favorite types of videos to film for you guys? I truly enjoy going to Retaish and finding bags that I love for you guys. Oh my God, I found this one. So this also, so this is not vintage, but in my opinion, one of the best bags in the whole world. You guys know my love for the peekaboo this is the medium peekaboo in black what i love so much about the peekaboo is once it gets a little bit older the leather smushes and it just kind of like you can like let it sink a little bit like this is literally okay also I'm not a big fan of the strap on the peekaboo so let's take this off look how gorgeous is this bag this to me is like literally like the chicest bag in the world I know everybody loves a good Kelly 28 moment, but in my opinion, go with the pre-loved peekaboo that's already like distressed and collapsed like this one. The hardware too is like matte. It's like a matte brass. Oof, oof, this is yummy. Oh, this is so yummy. Oh my, the peekaboo is one of those bags that I will never get over. I think like the peekaboo is pretty much the reason I love Fendi so much. To me, this is like the ultimate classic bag that you will never need to change or get rid of or get used to. Okay, next off, I found this. I don't generally go for backpacks, but the Bamboo Gucci backpack, this is in the matted suede or ca it's like a caviar leather almost, like Chanel, if we're doing Chanel lingo for uh, Gucci, it's definitely like a caviar leather because it feels like leather but it's kind of suede at the same time. I love this bag handheld. I know Prada reissued their nylon backpack. To me, it's all about these mini backpacks, but I love that this one is in like a teal color. I love that it's fun. Ugh, I love everything about this bag. It does have straps, but like I said, I'm not much of a backpack actual put on my back. I'm more of like a handheld. And this handheld wooden handle is just absolutely the ish. It's giving me all kinds of like, Lueve hammock bag, but on a Gucci vintage backpack. Does that even make sense? Do you guys know what the Lueve hammock is? I'm gonna insert it here in a small size. A friend of mine has it in yellow and it's like a dream bag and it's a little top handle like this with like a bag that kind of has a very similar shape all over it. Start going for vintage backpacks, guys. Like the little cute ones. I like quirky, I like fun colors. This one also comes in a darker color, I think, but I think, I think the teal is the way to go, in my opinion. So last summer for me was all about the white multicolor Louis Vuitton. This year for me, I'm all about black multicolor Louis Vuitton. I'm into these like top handle, almost like bowler bags in the black multi. How gorgeous is this bag. The multicolor on it is beautiful. They're so difficult to find in good condition. This one I feel like was just put in a closet. The patina is just like an even honey color the whole way through. Ugh, I'm drooling. And my favorite way, this sounds so weird, but the way that I wanted my multicolor speedy and white is I really wanted the green and the pink LV in the front, which 
when the multicolors came out do you guys remember going to the store and wanting to pick the colors that came in front i feel like people were doing that i don't know maybe i was the only crazy one doing that but i really wanted the pink and green in front and i saw this one and i was like the pink and green are in front so cute so any of these shapes with the black multi i am very much in by the way i lost my voice i got my second dose and i feel completely fine but i lost my voice randomly and it's been like this for three days. So please excuse the raspiness. It's not on purpose. I hopefully it'll be gone soon. So any shape like this, I'm a big fan of. Oh my God, pre-love goodness. Okay, this I need to convince myself not to keep this bag. This bag is going to be challenging for me not to keep. This is the Louis Vuitton Twist in patent leather with the white monogram, white and black monogram on the twist silver hardware look at this handle look at this handle this is going to take me everything in the world not to keep this bag it is so gorgeous it is the perfect like small size mini bag that's really cool right now in the little pochettes for the shoulder but also crossbody if you want something that's really practical i i saw this bag and i was like oh my god oh my god the beauty of this bag okay the next one oh my god i have been showing you guys this bag and i told you to buy it before prada reissued it two years ago and it's always been the big size that i found on a vintage market but look at what i just found the itty bitty version the little itty bitty version look how cute it is it comes in black as well. I wanted pink at my house because I'm convincing myself that I need this bag. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep it because I love a good pink bag. I love a big pink. Like, look how, look how cute it is. It's like the perfect little fun little city beach bag. Like when you have like really fun outfits like jean shorts and a little t-shirt and you have to go pick up Luke at school and you need the snacks. I love this bag. Oh my God, I saw it on the shelf and then I saw it in black. And Julia that I see at Retouch was like, do you want black or do you want pink? And I was like, this is a pink one for me. But then I was like, black is so practical, but like, I love pink. Isn't this, look how cute it is in this size. I know, like, I know everybody loves the bigger size because everybody's like, oh, it's like the Deauville style. It's like the garden party style. But the mini, it's freaking adorable. Okay, speaking of adorable, I have the last bag that I'm showing you guys. I love this bag when it first came out. I love it even more now. I feel like when it first came out, I was so classic in terms of bags that I was buying. You guys remember, if you've been following me on YouTube for a while, my style used to be much more neutral, much more conservative, much more, I think, clean and more basic, not in a bad way. I don't, and a lot of people misconstrued basic as a bad word now. I don't think basic is bad. I think I had a great style. I think it was just more neutral and I wasn't as adventurous with my accessories as I am now. So I definitely slept on this whole like floral garden collection that Gucci did a while back. It does come with a crossbody, but, but you guys know me. Who needs a crossbody when you have an epic wooden bamboo handle like this? This bag is so cute. This bag screams this summer. Like this collection, Gucci was too ahead of the times with this. Like it needed to be out now. So good, so good, so, so, so good. Okay, well now that's done. I just showed you guys all the bags I wanted to show you guys. It is now 1 p.m. I'm going to meet my girlfriend, Karin, for lunch. So we're gonna get to just continue. So here's what my outfit looks like. Uniqlo jacket, which I have used so much this summer. It is not even normal. So I'm wearing the Givenchy scarf that Retouch got me for my birthday. So it's only fitting that I'm wearing it in the scarf way that uh, Retouch showed me how to do. High rise cargo from Levi's and shoes are Dior. And I'm wearing these anklets. This one is from Monique. It was my birthday present. Monique on Instagram, I will link her down below. And these are double anklets. They're from Trend Savvy. I bought them a few years ago and I love the double anklet look. So this is my bag of the day. I'm using my Louis Vuitton locket, denim locket, and glasses are Lueve. So look of the day. All right, so lunch plans got changed. So I'm gonna go pick up Sushi Bar Kim. My lunch was rescheduled to tomorrow, so Perli Padoc for tomorrow. Nice little break in the middle of the day. Actually, it's, not, it's no longer the middle of the day, it's 2.30, so I'm gonna have a bite to eat. My favorite sushi in the world, Sushi Bar Kim. I got crunchy salmon, 
club sandwich, no avocado, and two albacore tuna. This vlog is getting more and more fun. I just got a far-fetch order. I ordered these shoes three days ago. Okay, let me just show you guys the amount. They came out to, oh, I thought they were more than that. This is so exciting. Okay, they came up to $658.33. I used my own promo code with Farfetch. If you guys didn't know I have a promo code, I will put the code right here. It's 10% off um, site-wide. With a few exceptions, I'll also mark them down below. So, this is the box in a dust bag. I've wanted these for so long. They're the Gia Couture Rosie Huntington Whitley. Is that it? Whitley? Rosie Huntington. It's her collaboration. And everybody that I've been seeing has been going with the like wide band shoe. I'll insert a picture here. And yeah, they're cute, but I'm like, eh, I don't know. I feel like I could get that more on like a Zara price point. And I saw these when Rosie Huntington showed the collection and I was like obsessed. These were the ones that I became beyond obsessed with. So let me just show them to you guys. So I went with the Cognac square toe. Kelpie, of course there's a box. Little gold heel, let me put them on. I ordered them in a size 36. I am always a 36 in pretty much anything designer. Sometimes um, not designer, I'm a 35 and a half. But designer, I'm always a 30. Oh my God, they're, they're so comfortable, guys. Holy, oh my God. Okay, the metal chains are anklets. They're not a part of the shoe. This is what the shoe, this is what the shoe looks like. Holy, oh my God, they're so comfortable. Hold on. Wow, these are hot. So these are it. This is the model. I'll link them down below on Farfetch with my code. They're the Rosy 2 and Rustic Brown. You know what I never talk about on social media, which I don't know why I don't? I'm a huge reader. Like, I love reading books. Um, I just ordered two that I wanted to share with you guys. I love Lauren Weinsberger, and she came out with a book that I didn't know was out. So I saw it on Amazon, I ordered it right away. Where the grass is greener and the girls are pretty. So I ordered this one. And I like to have paper books. I'm like a total nerd, like I have a big bookshelf in my loft. I love paper books, so I ordered this one. And then I realized I never read this one either. When Life Gives You Lululemon. So I ordered both of these for her. And it's summertime, we're going to Tremblant soon. So I figure I'll have some reads. Check out. This cute outfit, look at this, hold on a second. So I just got it from Trend Savvy. It's like this super cute, wait, you see my pink bra through, hold on. Let me show you guys in the mirror. Look how cute it is, so it's like this. Okay, the pink is just my bra, but it's cute little embroidered, flouncy skirt. The skirt looks super short, but it's shorts underneath. It's like little, it's a little skirt. Isn't this so cute? I thought it was so pretty. But yeah, so I just got that. I got an Aritzia order that I placed in their big sale too. My voice is a disaster. Going to pick up Luca, we're gonna go to the grocery store, we're gonna continue our night. I might come back, I might not, so I might end the vlog here and say bye guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you later since Luca doesn't like vlogging. Yeah, we're probably definitely gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed the handbag accessory porn. And I don't have anything else to say besides I love you so, so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.